Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly from Real Illusion Forum. And today we're going to do something that's not quite uh, iClone or Real Illusion stuff related, but more related. A user was having problems getting a particular thing, I guess a dress, he bought from Renderosity into Daz. Okay, so I'm going to show you that. Uh, it's important to understand the file structure of these files that you buy. So here's here are the folders that he got from the Renderosity. And these folders need to go into your Daz content library. Now, if you see over here, my Daz content library is called Daz content. So that's pretty easy. But how did I know where that library was? Well, you go here and you go to any of your content that you have to show in the content library manager. And if you write, well, I'm sorry, if you just hover, I guess if you just hover over it, uh, it will show you, if you look down there, it says the file name. And then it has the file path. And in this case, it's uh, on my G drive, DAS content. G DAS content. Yours will differ, obviously. It will. It may be a long path. It may be something like, you know, C colon and DAS 3D, whatever version, slice this, like stage library, whatever. But whatever it is, that's where you need to put your stuff into in order for it to work. And I want to show you... Once it's in there, then you can go ahead and just drag and drop your files over there, but you can't do it until it's in there. I want to show you that process. If I click on the people here, and there's a Genesis 8 female folder and a clothing folder, and then that's just a PNG file. That's just a, so you click on this folder. That's still a PNG file. We go into here, and now we have all these dresses and stuff, I guess. So if you go to this file, you have to go to a DUF file, not to an image file. You can't drag and drop an image over here, but let's say this dress file. I grab a hold of this, and I just drag it over here to Daz, and I drop it right on my Genesis figure. You'll notice that it says all this stuff. Hey, I can't find all this other crap. Uh, that's because, again, yeah, I know, we haven't copied. You can see that that didn't work at all. It just put this big crap there. Um, we haven't copied the necessary files over that it has to have in order to work. So, how do we do that? Real simple. Just going back here. Going to select all of these files. Uh, the documentation is not that important to copy over. That's just text and tells you about it. But, but you can copy it if you want. And you just copy it over right into your dad's content directory. That's all you have to do. And uh, whatever. And once it's copied over there, now you can go in... To the, to the file, not to the runtime file. This will always contain your textures and stuff, so um, you don't want to mess with that. But uh, you can go right into the people file, and just like we did before, and now you can take this dress and drag and drop it and put it right on top of this character, and it will first tell you that it can't find these things. Can't find the textures. Yeah, that's interesting. We dragged them, dropped them. All right, let's see if we can find them here. We'll go to Dad's content. Bear with me here, folks. I'm going to see why it is not finding these textures. Yeah, I know. Why it's not finding these textures. I wanted to see who this guy's name was. Textures. And it's Pamawal. <laughs> it's always good to have problems occur because then you learn a lot more from them. L M N. I gotta be able to spell here. Pam. L M N O P. O oh, N O P. Pam. <sighs> I mentioned this early in the morning, and my wife's in the hospital. Ah, there we go. Pamelo. And there's the diet. It should be right in here. Let's try that. The base color bag. Okay. Um. I'm going to ignore that. This is weird. It's not finding the right colors here, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about the colors of the files. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not finding those, but I'm not worried about it. Um, that's very odd that it didn't find those color textures. So there's something going on here. But the least address came over, and I'm not sure why the textures aren't coming over. As a rule, you ought to just be able to find them. Let's go to the materials here. Maybe we can just drag and drop some of the materials onto the dress. Sometimes you can do this. I can't find the... 
It's looking for it in runtime. Remember, we've copied the files in the runtime, the textures. Uh, oh, it's look. Oh, I see. It's it's not looking for it under. <laughs> All right, this is instructive, guys. <laughs> this problem. It, this is a very bad developer, and, and you know what? This is the problem. I hate to lecture, but I'm going to lecture anyway. I'm an old man. I get to lecture. Uh, I wouldn't buy anything from Enderosity. I mean, uh, there's some exceptions here and there, but there's a reason that those developers are not on the DAS site and they're on Enderosity is that they can't qualify to be on the DAS site. And um, and here's the problem: those texture files should be in. Uh, how it's set up is just to have this under this folder called Pema Wode or whatever, and then these textures, that's how that's set up. But we already know that that's not where the textures are. If we go back to uh, to here, uh, here, to runtime, the textures are under a folder that isn't named that same way. Okay, you want to see that difference is? They're looking for a folder that has spaces after the W here. Um, it's hard to tell, but that's what it's looking for. Uh, Diamante wet mesh. Yeah, Diamante mini dress. All right. Yeah, okay. So let's see if... Boy, it should still be able to find this, though. It should still be able to find these files, but... Eh. Yeah, see, it's, it's weird that it's got this different name here. I'm going to try something to see if this is worth doing. It may not be, but we're going to try it anyway. We're going to space this out just the way I think that is. And then I'm going to again go to here and see if I can get these IRA textures. But again, I would just recommend you, uh, not in runtime, that's not where they belong in the, the actual file. I would just recommend you don't buy things from Daz, honestly. Um, but, you know, it's up to you guys. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, Renderosity. I'm, did I mention my wife's in the hospital? <laughs> it's just kind of a serious issue. All right, I give up. Uh, it's not finding these textures. But in any case, uh, that's not a, a huge deal because when you bring it into iClone, uh, you can apply your own textures anyway. And you can drag and drop your textures right from this runtime. So if you go back here to the runtime, here's what the textures actually are. And you can just drag and drop these textures right into iClone. And I'm, I've shown that a number of times, but I'm not going to go through it here. Uh, you might say, Mike, why can't I just drag and drop the textures in here? Uh, you can't. Uh, Daz doesn't really work that way. You can actually go in here, for example. I'm getting into Daz far more than I really want to because I'm not really a Daz guy. But uh, let's go to here and go. Yeah, I think that's the dress. And we go down to this glossy layer way. Oh, it's actually got that texture in there. So I don't, I don't know what it's complaining about. But in any case, you could, you could find the textures that it's missing and put them in here. But I hate that, so I'm not going to do that. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, so, but you can, again, in iClone, apply all these textures in the right channels, and that'll work just fine. So... That's how to do it. Renderosity, dress in the DAS, and then export, and then get an iClone where it belongs, or into CC4, or as I say, CC3, because I'm, again, I'm an old man, I don't like CC4, <laughs> and I'm going to complain about it. Okay, hopefully that helps. I'm, I, I'm sorry about all this. I'm not in a really good place right now. Uh, that's what happens when your loved ones are in danger. Okay. I'll see you around on the forums.